Hello, everyone. What would you do if someone rushed towards you with a baseball bat in hand for the slightest reason? Let's continue exploring road rage incidents where valuable lessons are learned from situations that started with the simplest of reasons. The altercation that occurred during an earlier incident caused the man in the SUV to get out of his car and rush towards the driver of the Toyota to vent his anger. But as soon as he stuck his face inside to scream, he was hit with pepper spray. His rage quickly turned to tears. A previous incident caused the gray car to speed up and block the orange car. Quickly, the man in the orange car got out of the car with the baseball bat, but suddenly he was snatched from his hand by the man in the blue shirt. In the end, he had to quickly get into his car and leave. The rage started when the sedan driver suddenly stopped at the pedestrian crossing. This caused the man in white shirt to rush into the other driver to vent his rage. Things became more tense when the two rushed into each other right in the middle of a crowded street. Eventually, the sedan driver got back into his car and left. There are many reasons to get angry, but this video is the reason why you need to calm down. You never know who you might be dealing with in a moment of rage, so keeping your cool is always the best way to ensure you get home safely. The conflict that occurred earlier made the man driving the Cadillac decide to stop right on the highway to vent his anger. However, as soon as he jumped out of the car, he had to quickly get back because the police car was there immediately. This incident happened in Taiwan. When a previous conflict made these two men angry, and holding a baseball bat to chase the man driving the Toyota. Things gradually became more tense when the man holding a baseball bat decided to smash the Toyota's window hard, and the driver of the Toyota also decided to respond. Joy is on her way to her office in Boise, Idaho. Then a man driving a motor was going too slow at the entrance of the highway. This caused Joy to honk the horn to warn him, but this made him angry and suddenly stopped causing Joy to lose control and lunge at him. This low-speed incident cost Joy's insurance company $100,000 in damages. And it is worth mentioning that neither side can agree on who is at fault. Who do you think is at fault in this situation? Comment number one if you think it's the moto driver's fault. Comment number two if you think it's Joy's fault. The rampage occurred when the man in the sedan tried to squeeze into the straight lane while he was in a left turn only lane. The driver in the straight lane refused to yield, which enraged the sedan driver. He sped ahead, aggressively got out of his car and started yelling. But his anger was quickly quelled when the man behind him got out of the car with an iron rod. The rampage started when the man driving the SUV was lane encroached by a garbage truck. This made him angry and he quickly rushed to block the dump truck. Even though one arm was still injured, the man still rushed down holding a baseball bat to vent his rage. The rage started when the woman in the sedan tried to squeeze into an overcrowded lane. This caused both cars to collide with each other.
the woman rushed out of the car in a rage and claimed that the truck driver was at fault. But even though the truck driver knew the entire incident had been recorded on camera, she chose to leave. Instead of rushing at each other to vent their rage, these two men decided to play a game they created themselves. If this video brings you new experiences to make your driving easier, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button so that every time there is a new video, you will be the first to watch it. There will be many people ready to rush toward you to vent their rage, even for the smallest reason. So please always keep yourself calm. The woman in this SUV chose this extremely unexpected way to pass the bus. Even the man outside couldn't believe what he was seeing. In the end, her stubbornness caused her car to overturn and she needed everyone's help to get out of the car. A previous conflict had caused two men to rush into each other to vent their rage. Everything seemed to be over. Then suddenly, the young man kicked the rear of the van hard. This caused the van driver to immediately rush towards him and respond. Luckily, the rampage ended when the woman dissuaded him. A previous incident caused the rage of a man driving a white SUV who deliberately drove quickly on the sidewalk to quickly block the driver of a black sedan. Quickly, the two men rushed into each other to vent their anger. There is no safe way home if the rages confront each other. We hope we can always stay calm on every trip. It all started with road rage in a previous incident that resulted in the man driving the sedan throwing something at the other two men's truck. Rage began, causing the two men in the white car to decide to get out of the car. Finally, these two men taught the other driver a lesson while the driver's window was open. In Laverton, Melbourne, Australia, the Kia car was stopped at a traffic light. Suddenly, the police arrived and rounded up the vehicle. The police rely on external circumstances to act quickly and decisively to arrest criminals. But there are other opinions that if they act like that, people around them may also be in danger. What are your thoughts? Please leave your opinion by commenting below. You never know what will happen if the tantrum turns into tension. The rage that occurred between the three men caused the sedan to accelerate and flip sideways. Luckily, no one was hurt, but this helps us realize that rage will bring you to an outcome you may not have thought of. During a trip to Vietnam, Marco encountered a woman on a motorbike who was blatantly standing in the middle of the road to make a phone call, despite the heavy traffic. Marco couldn't wait any longer, so he got out of his vehicle and reminded her to move to the side of the road to continue her call, but she ignored him. Marco even had to use force to get her to the side of the road.
Immediately, the traffic police arrived and even showed their support for Marco's actions. This time, the rage came from a woman sitting in a van eating a Big Mac instead of driving. To avoid a white car, she stopped and waited for it to pass, but she was so focused on her burger that she hit a small pothole. While holding a Big Mac in one hand and fries in the other, while driving with her knees, her van crashed into the bushes. But what's worth mentioning is that after the car crashed into the bushes, she got out of the car and pointed her finger at Thomas and blamed him. The rage occurred between a woman and a man driving a Chevrolet. The two argued during an earlier incident, and it seemed like the fury had subsided when the woman walked away. But she suddenly turned around and hit the car's mirror hard. This made the man driving the Chevrolet get angry and steered hard, causing the motorbike and the woman to fall off. Luckily, no one was injured, but her car was seriously damaged. Despite everyone stopping at the red light and yielding to pedestrians, this man still tried to push ahead, even though people were still crossing the street. Notably, he even got out of his car to curse and challenge the drivers behind him, but was quickly taught a lesson about politeness with a blast of pepper spray. Another incident involved the driver of a sedan, who unexpectedly charged forward and erupted in road rage towards the driver behind him. He aggressively attacked the rear driver, who immediately responded with a full blast of pepper spray. It's unbelievable that many still think road rage is a good way to handle situations. Let's all try to handle things calmly. This incident occurred in New Zealand when the Ford changed lanes too quickly while the truck driver was going straight and did not realize the signal light was on. A slight collision occurred, causing the truck driver to rush forward in anger and attack the Ford. His anger was quickly extinguished when five large men got out of the car. That's why if we can ignore small mistakes, we all have safe trips. This video serves as another vivid demonstration of the consequences of road rage. Hopefully, everyone will maintain calm to handle all situations. This motorbike driver got angry at the bus because he thought the bus almost caused harm to him. However, his rage quickly ended when he, too focused on yelling, crashed into a car waiting at a red light. Robert was driving when he encountered the sheriff, moving at about 20 to 30 miles per hour. However, it is worth mentioning that the policeman got out of the car and reminded Robert that he was going too close to the police car. Can you my rear end a little closer? Sorry about that. I get it, you're in a hurry, but I'm driving the speed limit. Do I need to call one of my guys over here and write him a $140 ticket? I don't think that's necessary. 
Do you think the sheriff's actions were justified? Share your thoughts in the comments so we can discuss it together. Rage erupted on the road between a motorcyclist and a bus driver. The motorcyclist believed the bus had endangered him and continuously shouted at and attacked the bus driver. The anger became intense when the bus driver got off the bus and chased the motorcyclist and then responded. Next, both men chased them right in the middle of the street, despite the two cars blocking everyone's path. A cyclist lost his temper and decided to ride slowly, preventing a bus from overtaking him, despite the bus driver honking and urging him to move. The situation quickly ended when the cyclist's wheel became bent, rendering him unable to continue riding. The incident occurred in Merced, California, when a man tried to enter a lane that was closed for repairs. A patrolling police car witnessed the whole situation and immediately apprehended him. Big dumbass, look at him. You got What is karma in road rage? Karma is when you become a fool through your own actions, caused by what you have done. Perhaps for many people, time is more important than safety. The driver of this van, in a fit of rage, rammed into an SUV because he wanted to run a red light. Finally, when he ran the red light on his own accord, the bus arrived at the same time. This man tried to run a red light, and he even got angry at the man driving the oncoming SUV. So absorbed in his rage that he received karma soon after. A man on this motorbike got angry and gave the middle finger to the driver of a car turning left after carefully turning on the turn signal. Unfortunately for the cyclist, he was quickly overtaken by karma and crashed into a rickshaw with his right foot. This young man decided to stop and answer the phone while he was standing in the middle of the street. But as soon as he received the reminder, he chose to get angry. If you were the driver in this situation, what would you do? Karma is when you get back double what you did to others. The best way to avoid getting into trouble is to find ways to avoid road rage. Make it a habit to check your surroundings when changing lanes to avoid trouble. Don't let negative emotions determine your actions, because you will likely be the one who has to solve the problems you created yourself. This woman decided to do something with her boyfriend's car because she suspected he was having an affair. But her anger was quickly quelled when her boyfriend told her she had received the wrong car. Both men now charged at each other in rage. But at the end of this, no one was the winner. So do you think road rage is necessary?
This aggressive young man got out of his car, carrying a whip intending to hit someone. but was immediately sprayed in the face with pepper spray. The rage continued from two men recorded in Birmingham. Both were blocking each other, not allowing anyone to pass. The situation escalated when the man driving a Range Rover got out of his car, attacked the van driver, and then drove away. Never get angry with any policeman because you will soon receive bad karma. This man driving a silver Toyota stopped at the median and he was trying to wave to the vehicles. When Officer Rowlerson stopped to assist, the subject suddenly exited the vehicle and aggressively approached Officer Rowlerson. This story happened in Illinois when a truck driver noticed traffic was jammed. So he tried to switch lanes to the left, but at the same time, a sedan traveling in the left lane was coming and did not let him change lanes. This enraged the truck driver who got out of his truck, but he soon regretted his actions when he realized the sedan was a police car. A conflict that occurred between two men in a previous incident caused the man to become angry and threatened the man recording. A pepper spray canister was quickly drawn to calm him down. Do you agree that pepper spray is effective for quickly resolving fits of rage? Comment with number one if you agree that using pepper spray to resolve rage is effective. Comment with number two if you believe pepper spray only escalates the situation further. The incident occurred when the BMW forcefully hit the rear of this car. Remarkably, he threatened the owner of the dash cam and then tried to flee. However, the police were immediately there to stop him. This young man suddenly became angry and wanted to attack an older man. The first time he attacked, he felt it wasn't enough, so he decided to run back to his car and bring an extra stick. But unexpectedly, the man pulled out a gun to defend himself, making the young man immediately regret it and put down the weapon. With this vivid video, we all understand that getting angry on the streets and looking down on others is an act that deserves condemnation and should be eliminated. Be a calm person because everything will be easier with smart handling. Immediate karma for road robbers in Romania. The police were right there afterward and caught these two robbers. An incident occurred between a sedan and a truck. The truck driver thought the sedan was moving too slowly on the highway, which he believed was dangerous, but the sedan driver disagreed. The confrontation ended when everyone went their separate ways, but before leaving, the sedan driver intentionally reversed and hit the truck hard. Never get angry with any policeman, because you will soon receive bad karma. This man driving a silver Toyota stopped at the median and he was trying to wave to the vehicles. When Officer Rowlerson stopped to assist, the subject suddenly exited the vehicle and aggressively approached Officer Rowlerson. Right 
This story happened in Illinois when a truck driver noticed traffic was jammed. So he tried to switch lanes to the left, but at the same time, a sedan traveling in the left lane was coming and did not let him change lanes. This enraged the truck driver, who got out of his truck, but he soon regretted his actions when he realized the sedan was a police car. A minor incident earlier had caused a man to fly into a rage and attack a truck driver with an ax. Not stopping there, this man even pulled out a gun and shot several times, hitting the truck driver's tires, making the vehicle unable to move. If you encounter a similar situation, stay calm and don't think about confronting him. Instead, take out your phone and call 911. You never know if you might be facing a professional martial artist or a boxing master if you lose your temper. To keep yourself safe, it's best to stay calm and control your emotions. A driver lost his temper and attacked the man driving a Toyota on the highway with a stick because he had driven dangerously in an earlier situation. Insults and even spitting caused the man in the Toyota to lose his temper and decide to retaliate against the truck driver. However, his way of responding was not a good idea, and this action even brought him bad karma. The CRV stopped in busy traffic. Everyone was extremely upset, but he finally left. However, it wasn't long before he stopped again. Surprised by this driving behavior, the driver behind honked to remind him. The honking, however, enraged the man who threatened to attack the car behind him. And with his clumsiness, the man forgot to use the brake, so the car backed up, surprising him and causing him to fall down as soon as he got out of the car. Despite staggering around from the fall, he still managed to yell at the driver behind him before finally driving away. The driver of a white SUV tried to overtake and cut in front of another driver, but anger and speed caused the SUV to crash into concrete blocks and flip over. Fortunately, everyone was okay. The pickup truck driver became angry for some reason, which made him speed up and pass through the intersection at high speed causing the vehicle to lose control and veer off the road. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> the incident was quite serious, but the people filming did not help the victim. If you are in this situation, try to take some time to see the problem situation. Oh my God. These two men had a previous altercation. It seemed resolved when they parted ways. But the man in black reversed his car, suddenly sped up, and hit the man in blue. The impact sent the man flying into nearby bushes. The two continued to argue afterward. Eventually he left, but evidence of the incident surfaced, and he was charged. This incident happened near Skillman Avenue in Oceanside when a man suddenly punched the windshield of a car, stopped at a traffic light, and then walked away. Be careful with road rage. It might not turn out as you think. We use this video to remind everyone of the vivid consequences of not being able to control one's anger. Always stay calm and things will be all right. But if you can't control your anger, you might end up at a disadvantage.
the SUV was speeding through a busy street, which led the police to spot him and immediately question him, giving him a speeding ticket. Will Oaks merged in front of this driver 12 miles ago. She continued to follow E, tailing him the whole time. But when Will Oaks changed direction, she was unable to control the speed, causing her car to crash into the pickup truck. Both vehicles were seriously damaged, but fortunately, everyone was okay. I always hope that you can learn from the vivid consequences of road rage from this video. So if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment anything to let us know you enjoyed this topic. Who do you think is at fault in this situation? Let's discuss it in the comments section. But anyway, I hope everyone remains calm. A conflict that occurred between two men in a previous incident caused them to stop in the middle of an intersection to curse at each other. The man in the sedan wanted to leave but the SUV tried to block him. Justice was finally served when a police car arrived just in time before the SUV could leave. While everyone was waiting at the red light, an impatient man decided to illegally change lanes to get ahead, but this quickly got him a costly ticket. A previous incident caused a man in a black sedan to chase this group of young men on the highway. However, his speed was so fast when changing lanes that he did not notice a motorcyclist traveling in the same direction ahead. Hopefully in any situation that happens on the road, you will be a calm person. The Audi's dangerous lane change enraged the woman driving the black SUV, leading her to storm out of her vehicle and scream at the Audi. Would you do the same if you were her? Share your thoughts in the comments below. This is why we always need to be calm to face incidents on the road. These two men charged at each other in a previous incident, but the ending of this rampage was the same because neither was the winner. A minor conflict earlier had caused 18-year-old Joshua Gardner to rage on the road with the blue sedan. Joshua even used a knife to attack the driver inside the car to deal with his rage. Ultimately, the incident ended with him being sentenced to three and a half years in prison. 